Hey guys, in this tutorial we'll uh, make an axe and uh, we'll be using curves to do it. Uh, the process is pretty simple. Select the EP curve tool. You can click like this to make a curve. Uh, just a simple line. You can uh, right click, go to control vertex and select uh, the individual uh, CVs or control vertices. You can see it's a little uh, jaggedy. Just press 3. That will smooth it. And you can just uh, build up yourself some uh, curves. You can hold C and drag this will let you uh, in middle drag this will let you basically snap another curve to the curve that you're you already have so you can do things like this and uh, using this process I just made this uh, X with the handle and uh, we'll go from here so uh, first thing is I want to create some lofts and uh, to do this um, I want to be able to loft this curve with this one and then using these uh, curves as guides um, so for this we're going to be using a viral actually but to do this I need to first uh, cut this curve uh, in the same way these two are separate uh, the reason they're separate is because we have a straight line here and then we have this uh, curve here so I'm just gonna right click select curve point and then left click and drag uh, like this and then just let go about where I want that line to be like this and then uh, I'm just going to hold spacebar, curves, and click detach, like that. So now we have two curves just like this. And I'm going to use the EP curve tool now. Hold C, click and drag, like that. So I'm holding C and then uh, left clicking and dragging, like that. And that's going to make another curve. So then we'll just move this around just to make another shape like this. Right now we're ready to make our by rail and for this we'll be using a by rail 3 because we have an extra curve here like this so uh, let's do that uh, first hold spacebar go to uh, let's see where is it Not curve surfaces uh, by rail and open uh, the options to by rail 3 and we're going to change some settings here because the default options, of course, these operations are NURBS. And NURBS are great, but we want to go straight to polygons because we'll be converting to polygons in the future anyway. So I'm going to set this to polygons. I'm going to set the, I'm going to reset just to show you what the settings are by default. So polygons. Then I'm going to set the type to quads. Tessellation method to general. And then for the U and V type, I'm going to change the U type here to uh, per span number of isoprams. And the same here. And just set this to one for now like this and uh, hit apply and what this will do is it will let you uh, select a bunch of profile curves so it says uh, right down here in the help it says uh, select any number of profile curves so just drag a selection over this one this one and this one and then when you're done hit enter so I hit enter and then select two rail curves so one and two and there we go this is exactly what we want. It may no not look like it right away, but trust me, it is. So I'm going to select it and just hide it. And then I'm going to do the same, but this time I'm going to use a by rail 2. And the reason I'm using a by rail 2 is because this one we have three plus uh, profile curves, but on this shape we only have two, beginning and end. So same thing, polygons, quads, general, set to, uh, to the bottom one. 1 1 hit apply it's going to ask me to select two profile curves so one and two and then you don't have to hit enter because it, you already selected two curves just select the top and bottom and here we go we have another uh, shape here now I'm going to bring back the other one as well and you can see what they look like now they're black because our normals are reversed you can reverse the normals by clicking a button like this or going to mesh display and clicking reverse that will just flip the normals, so now you can see what it looks like. I'm going to uh, turn on wireframe on shaded. Then if I select this edge here, and I'm going to go into NURBS Tessellate in the inputs, like that. I'm going to select the U number and drag it. I'm going to drag it until I'm happy with it, so uh, how many divisions I want. So I want this many divisions, like that. And then select the V number here, so I'm, sele I'm selecting the V number here, like this, with left click. Then moving into my viewport and middle dragging. And then I can add divisions like this. So I think that's good. And I also I'm gonna select these 
edges here and hit delete control delete so make sure you hit control delete if you just hit delete you can see the cur uh, the vertices that uh, will stay so hitting control delete will delete those as well and that's because we want to have a nice sharp edge here but we want to have divisions here so i'm going to select this one select the nerve tessellate options here i'm going to select the v number and just match the same number here you can see now they're matching and then select the U number and drag that until I'm happy with what I have. I can change this to 3D if I want. This will give me an, a more even distribution. Now the other thing that you might see is that you see how this um, the curves really don't line up the way I really want them to. So we can fix that. And to do that we just need to rebuild the curves. So let's do that quickly. I'm going to delete the shape. And I'm going to select these two. I'm going to go to display and I'm going to go to uh, NURBS and turn on edit points. And now you can see the difference between these two curves. This one has two edit points and this one to make this shape has two extra strips. So it has four edit points. So I'm going to select both of them, hold spacebar, go to curves and click rebuild and open the options for it. And here uh, if you if I just click rebuild with the default options uh, it's going to change the curve shape and I don't want to do that because I want to see what the original shape was I want to stay to the original shape as close as possible so I'm going to undo that and click keep original this will keep the original curves so when I hit apply you can see the difference that we have so I'm going to undo that I'm going to change my uh, degree from 3 to 5 and you can see it's getting closer so let's undo that, set it to 7. And that's pretty close, so I'm okay with that. So I'm going to undo it and turn off Keep Original and now hit Apply. So now it's going to divide uh, pretty evenly and you can see the shape stays pretty much the same and you can see where our uh, edit points are. They line up pretty well. So now all we need to do is just hide this, go back into Surfaces, Birail, select Birail 2. The options that we said before will be remembered, so we just need to select here, 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 and here. And there's our shape, just gonna reverse the normals. Go into NURBS Tessellate. Let's unhide the previous uh, hidden object. So to unhide a previous object, it's Control shift h So that's the last thing I hid, so now it's unhidden. And then I'm going to drag this and this until I'm happy with the output. And you can see our lines line up a lot better now and we have even distribution of our edges here. So I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, to finish this off, I'm just going to combine, merge, clear history, and now it's one object. So pretty simple. All right, so let's do the handle. Okay, so let's uh, do the rest of the axe so let's do the arm uh, or the handle and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing I need to split this so right click curve point and drag a point like somewhere like to match that like this and then spacebar uh, curves and let me do it here so you guys can see curves and detach somewhere in here there it is All right so now we have two and it matches this the only thing is uh, these two will not match so if I go to display NURBS edit points you can see uh, the discrepancies here and what we'll, this will do is it'll create uh, a skewed geometry so we don't want to do that so we're going to rebuild and we're going to rebuild the same way so curves rebuild and if we use the same options we had before it's going to do it the exact same way but if we look at them uh, it's basically I have it set to 4, 7, if I keep original you can see it's almost exactly the same so that's good so I'm gonna undo it turn off keep original apply and it'll just match those up like that good now let's make a curve here like this and you can just hold V and the left click snap because we have edit points so you can once you show edit points you can snap to them so we'll just do a straight line across like this I'm gonna hide this for now and then do a simple uh, by rail as well so this just needs a by rail 2 so we'll go to uh, surfaces by rail by rail 2 and then select 1 2 
three, four, like this. And then I'm gonna press, um, once you deselect everything, you can press G. This will redo the last command. And, but first we have to hide this. The, the reason I wanna hide this first is because to select this edge, this curve, uh, Byroll will also select this edge sometimes. So I wanna hide it so it doesn't get in the way. And then I can use Byroll and then click here, here, and then here and here, like this. So unhide the last thing we hid, which is this guy, and this one's reversed. So let's flip it like that. And then uh, let's do our tessellation. So we'll add three this way, or four. Uh, so three edges this way means four in the U type. And then something like this. And then this guy. Uh, so the U and V got flipped. That's not a big deal. Just slide that over. And then for this, I'm going to set this to uh, 3D. This will give us an, a more even distribution like this probably let's do 35 is that good uh, probably 36 all right that's fine good enough select both combine merge clear history and now we have this shape and this shape so pretty good let's hide all the curves so I'm just gonna move them here and hide them and to do this I'm gonna just make a group call it curves and control H will hide it control G is to create a group uh, I do this because if I need to ever bring it back I have it it's just a nice clean way of doing it and before we do the X we'll do the handle uh, so first simple extrude will be good enough like this something like that do it in this direction so that it's uh, in the positive not in the negative and then just add for divisions two. Oh, that's because I pressed the... Uh, Alright, so if I use the manipulator from the tool, I can do that. But because I use the move command, uh, I just need to add it manually, and that's okay. We'll just set this to... Uh, use the insert edge loop tool, set it to multiple, one, add a division this way. And now I want to round this off, and I'm going to use um, symmetry first. So I need to first center this handle. So, modify and click freeze transformations then modify center pivot i'm going to hold x and just move the handle uh, onto the into the zero grid line which is right here see the dark line and then uh, let's freeze and reset and then clear history which is uh, shift alt d okay now we can turn symmetry on so if I select these vertices hold control and shift together right click uh, go to symmetry symmetry and make sure our symmetry is set to either uh, let's see either x-axis and object or world it doesn't really matter but you can see now if I select this <coughs> the other side gets selected and uh, this is useful because now we can work on two sides of the of the handle like this I'm going to deselect this much I only want to select just this edge here and then I'm going to shift right click and click slide edge and then I can just slide the, uh, using middle mouse button slide the edge this way press G this will redo the uh, slide edge and then just move it again so move it in one direction then the other one and now let me move it back and what this will do is will let me just kind of round this off a little bit so again and you might have to just do this a couple times until you get it to where you like it so I like it there I think that's a nice rounded handle and I want to do the same to this side and I'm not going past this this is like a sharp corner that I want to keep so I'm not going to do that so same here G and then just kind of slide this over G again and then slide it in the other direction like that it's a little tricky sometimes to get it to slide in the direction you want so just do it a couple times until you get it now you can see our handle is nice and round and I'm gonna just uh, round this off so I'm gonna uh, click here shift double click this edge and then just press G again and this one I'm gonna do the same thing but not as extreme just a little bit like that so this one is rounded more than this edge so it'll give us a nice uh, cleaner or a nicer look 
kind of look I'm trying to go for. There. That looks good. Maybe that's too much. Alright, that's fine. Okay. That looks good. Now let's uh, bevel this edge. So select this and this and this. Shift right click bevel. Add a second segment and then just move the fraction to where you like it. I think something like this. A nice rounded handle on the bottom. Okay. I'm going to uh, bevel just this edge. So shift right click bevel edge. But I'm going to add a segment here. I'm going to click on chamfer on the on. This will turn chamfer off and give us a, uh, a sharper corner. I'm just going to move this back like this. And then I'm going to use this. This is uh, target weld. So first right click, go to vertices, use target weld. And then you can click this vertex, drag it here. And then we'll just delete this edge like that. You can see the kind of effect that we get. So now I'm just gonna kind of shrink this a little bit and then shrink this one like that. There. That's pretty good. Maybe just slide this one up a little. So slide edge, maybe this down slightly just so it's not pinching so much. Okay, good. All right, so the same here. Shift, right click, bevel edge, add a segment, turn chamfer off. There we go. Soften edge, clear history. And there's the basic handle. But it's too straight. I want to deform it a little bit. So I'm gonna go from the front view, spacebar, deform, and open up our lattice options. I want to set the options here to uh, 2, 2, 2, 30, 30, 30, like this. Hit apply. And then what we need to do is add some T divisions like this. And then I can scale this in. Uh, turn symmetry off because symmetry will mess up our scaling. So like this. I want to scale this down to make it thinner to fit the the X head clear history now we can see it gets thinner here a little thicker there and then we have this tapered part that will go into the X, X head so let's unhide the X head and I'm going to move it over like this I'm going to select this edge here that and then because we're right on the grid line I'm gonna hold X and then pre-select so I'm still holding X I'm gonna select this arrow and just drag it right into the uh, grid there like this to create a sharp edge then I'm gonna select the rest of the vertices deselect the handle all right so now uh, back to the form lattice and I'm gonna add S divisions, I think. Nope. Nope. U divisions. I always forget, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so now right click, lattice, select this and just move it down to create an edge. And if I press 4, we can. it's easier to see what's going on here. So there's our sharp edge. I'm going to round this off a little bit around the X, X handle. Bring this over like this and then just kind of push this in just to make a shape like that all right that's good so now I'm going to modify freeze reset uh, and that should be good now if I duplicate scale in negative X to 1 like this we can select both combine merge and there it is we have a good start I'm going to double click this edge 
deselect these corners here and just do a simple uh, bridge like that then select the edges here and click fill hole you can get to fill hole also by shift and uh, right click and then fill hole somewhere in here okay now let's add an edge uh, this way so multi one or complete on like this go from the top view I'm gonna select these vertices here just move them back just around this off a little bit like that and now we need to create a hard edge for uh, the X uh, the the edge of the X so let's set this I'm gonna use the insert edge loop tool it's also under insert edge loop tool set it to equal or complete on and no insert with edge flow that should be off and then add an edge this way like this and then one this way right that's good now what we need to do is uh, we need to add an edge along here to do this I'm going to do this to add little triangles here like this and same on the other side okay okay so uh, we need to actually turn autocomplete off then you can double click this edge select these edges oops, here and then double click this one and then I'm just going to deselect hold control and just deselect this and this okay okay so if you hold control and deselect it will let you uh, just drop an edge on the edges you want so just like this hit enter now the only thing is when you have an open face like this when you if I press 3 you can see there's an edge here so I'm just gonna select it and delete it like this and then we just need to do the same on this side and just deselect like that hit enter press 3 delete this all right so now we can add a uh, edge here for the hard edge here we can turn auto complete back on and just an edge here like this and then one here like this okay and then you can go across like that All right so now we have quads So it might not look like it, but this is actually a quad, so that's perfectly fine. You can see we have a sharp edge, but this is not sharp yet, so we need to do that. So that's an easy thing to do. Just double click this edge and this one. I'm going to deselect these edges here and this one here, just holding control. Shift, right click, bevel edge, add a second segment turn chamfer off and increase the friction to maximum uh, fraction sorry turn select these edges here and just delete them and then use uh, go to uh, vertex and then use the target weld just to weld this like that so preview you can see now we have an edge we can sharpen that edge a little bit by using insert edge loop tool set it to multi one autocomplete on and add an edge here and here so this will just sharpen this a little bit you can see now it's a sharper edge the cutting edge is sharper that's good I also want to sharpen this here as well so I'm going to select these edges here like this shift right click bevel edge add a segment chamfer off set that to maximum delete both sides here like this and then preview now we just need to delete this and this and 
there we go so that's pretty much it but if you want you can also add a hole for the X for the X handle and that's pretty simple to do we're just gonna use a simple uh, boolean and uh, let's see I'm gonna select both objects here I'm gonna duplicate and hide control H control D to duplicate control H to hide just so we have uh, a version and then I'm going to select both go to booleans and do difference maybe intersection union nope okay so if that happens you just need to change the order so this is green and this is white so we just need to make it so that this is white and this is green so change the order of the selection now boolean difference and now we have a hole clear history and I'm gonna cut this in half because I don't want to work on both sides but I can't really cut in half because of this face well I can but it's gonna be a little tricky you know what alright so if we cut it in half uh, we'll have an issue there so I'm going to do this I'm gonna select this much of the X and then hit extract which is this button here this will separate this uh, so shift all D to clear history this will separate the front of the X and then the back of the X I can now separate this just makes it a little easier to work with I'm going to go through and delete all these extra triangles that are left over that we don't need I still don't know why Maya does this it's kind of annoying but you know it's Maya 2017 and it still does it oh by the way a new feature in Maya 2017 is the dockable outliner I don't know if you noticed it but if I have the outliner like this uh, in the old Maya you can just uh, grab it and drag it until the whole side of uh, your Maya window here turns blue and drop it there and it's going to be just docked there which makes it a little easier so if you maximize your window you don't have to have this floating outliner window I like it clear that we don't need this edge actually so control delete that as well All right, that's good now we just need to connect uh, I'm gonna delete these edges cuz why not Okay, so not that one yet. We need a corner first, like this. And get rid of this. So this one will stay. I'll show you how to fix it later. And then this, we have to keep this curvature here. So I'm going to connect like this. And this one, we will have to leave open just like the other side like that okay and use insert edge loop tool uh, sorry uh, multi cut tool and just make a, a beveled edge like this just follow it now we can take this edge into the corner here I'm gonna go this way go right here into the middle and then go down that way we can make a connection there now it's all quads and this guy will just go from here to here like that and on this side same thing and then draw our bevel edge here this way like this get rid of this guy then we're going to it okay so now let's add an edge loop here equal distance autocomplete on and then one here you can see what that looks like it's good so now let's just uh, mirror this so I'm gonna double click the mirror and an easy way to check to see if, uh, which way the mirror is going to go is look at the manipulator down here. So the X is pointing to the right. So that means we need X and mirror direction should be positive X like this. And then we want to connect border vertices and uh, set this to custom 0 0.001. That's good. And hit apply. There. And now let's bring back control shift H this part. 
I'm gonna combine and I'm gonna only, only to select these vertices here and click merge. The reason is uh, we have such close vertices here. If I try and merge this, they'll merge together and cause an issue. Okay, and then I'll also add a loop here just to sharpen this. Okay, we need this. That's the uncut. There we go. Alright, guys, so let's just name this. This is uh, axe handle geo, and this is axe head geo, like this. We don't need the curves anymore, and this is now ready for animation, I guess. Uh, and you should also freeze and reset your transformations that's always good to do and clear history and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh if, if you guys uh, want to see more just uh, subscribe and hit the like button and in the next tutorial i will uv this axe using uv layout so uh see you guys then